welcome to Ground Zero, our weekly roundup of the latest stories on citizen journalism website Stomp. I'm Vivian. And I'm Sean. Now Vivian, imagine if you had to spend the night in a mosquito and termite infested detention cell with 50 other detainees, forced to eat soggy rice and relieve yourself in an open concept toilet. This after you were made to take off your clothes and do 10 squats in the nude. And all this because of the confusion caused by the new fingerprint scanning system introduced by Malaysian Customs at the start of the month. Two Singaporean women went through a horrific 46 hours of humiliation and were thrown into a detention cell in Malaysia after they entered Malaysia with their passports not stamped. Jane and her friend Miss Chang wanted to have supper at Taman Sentosa just 10 minutes from the causeway in Johor Bahru. At the Malaysian Customs checkpoint counter, there was no one manning the booth, so they tapped the touch and go card and drove on as the barrier lifted, thinking there would be another station ahead. However, there were no more stations, so the pair headed back to the Malaysian Customs and told them that their passports were not stamped. That was when the nightmare started. The customs officers screamed at them for entering Malaysia without stamping their passport and they were told to pay 6,000 ringgit. Subsequently, they were made to strip and do squats, then thrown into a detention cell until 46 hours after the ordeal started. They were let off with a warning letter. But the memory has not left the pair, with Jane vowing never to step into Malaysia again. Stompers who read the story were outraged. Stomper One Jean said, I myself had encountered an incident where one of their immigration officers asked me to pay 50 Sing dollars so that he can stamp the entry for my foreign friend with minimum fuss. Stomper Garrick Sim hopes that the Singapore government will do something. The Stomper said, Hopefully the Singapore government will investigate and offer an explanation as to why Singaporeans are treated like that without due process of clarification at the Malaysian end. The story of the Singaporean women comes at the back of complaints over the new fingerprint scanning system. The system requires you to go over to the machine, scan your fingers, wait for a sticker to be printed, then stick it on your passport. Stomper Chuck expressed the shortcomings of the system. The Stomper said, My mother's fingerprints could not be read by the machine because there's a scar on her finger. The process was also inconsistent. When my friend and I entered Malaysia, I had my finger scanned, but she was not required to do so. However, when we left Malaysia, I was not required to scan my fingers, but she was. The fingerprint system caused massive jams and long queues at the causeway on the first weekend it was introduced. Even at the Kuala Lumpur airport, long queues were seen as a result of the newly installed biometric machines. We can only hope that these are thieving problems and it will be smooth sailing soon enough. And for Singaporeans planning to enter Malaysia, a spokesman from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs said that you should ensure your passports are stamped at entry when entering Malaysia. From confusion at the causeway to confusion on the streets in Singapore in the next clip. As a student, received a flyer advertising sexual services when he was walking down Orchard Road. Stay tuned.